Hello and welcome back to Jarvis Johnson Gold, Gold. the premium channel that is free. Um, it is, it is free. But if you're watching this, you're premium. And I apologize, <laughs> as I often do, because I saw a TikTok. I, I moved, by the way. I moved. I'm in a different background. Hopefully, it will become less like a big white void soon. But yeah, got. I gotta make content. Content time. Content time doesn't wait for me to decorate. No, no, no. So today, uh, we will be apologizing for Andrew Pav. He made a TikTok where it looks like he is trying to make out with his dog generously. It's a cringeworthy situation. And so I wanna give you a little bit of a content warning. I, he doesn't actually do anything, but it's what he leaves up to the imagination that is troubling to me, <laughs> you know? I guess what I'm trying to say is Andrew Pav loves dogs. Get it? All right, let's watch this. Let's take off the top. Oh no! Oh God! I wasn't okay when I say I've seen this. I think I maybe saw two seconds of it, and I didn't hear any of the audio. This is nasty. This is nasty and bad. And why did he think this was a good idea to begin with? And leave this dog alone, man. Guys, I was practicing for my crush. Ew. Do you know what it feels like to fall in love? Ugh. Okay, maybe I don't need to show you that whole thing because it doesn't really go anywhere except for the lyrics are sexually explicit and that makes me uncomfortable because he's holding his dog. I Somebody on TikTok said he's scared and then Andrew Pav says, nah, he was feeling himself in that, which is not true. Yeah, see, everybody seems to know. Leave the dog alone. The dog is traumatized. The dog looks concerned if we're being honest. He doesn't do anything. It's just like... You know, I don't feel like I should be allowed to see it. So anyway, I guess after I'm done calling the police, uh, we can watch the rest of this guy's TikTok account. The reason I can watch his other TikToks is because fortunately for us, that is the only one that is like that. But it is how I found his account. He has 1.5 million followers on TikTok. And that just tells me that there's no justice in this world. <laughs> and so I guess that's just something that we have to live with. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Um. What's up? On how I sound, rate me on a scale of 1 to 10. 1 or a 2? You think I look like a 1 or 2? Probably more of a 1. Bruh, okay. Oh my God. What's up now? Oh, you're kind of fine. I might change it to a 10. Not gonna Can you give me a little kiss? Okay. All right. So first of all, he shows up in a, a ski mask, which is terrifying. And he's making like a Mickey Mouse voice. Excuse me? Can I ask you a question? Excuse me? Can I ask you a question? Um... <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to ask you if you want to smell good all day long. Because if so, then you need today's sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a premium subscription service that delivers the best fragrances to your doorstep every month. You know Scentbird. I've talked about them before, and I have used them for a long time. In fact, every single time I need to smell good, you know I'm reaching for that Scentbird. And they've helped me discover a bunch of fragrances that I love. When you start out, you'll take a little scent quiz to help Scentbird learn your preferences, and then they'll suggest a few fragrances to try right off the bat. Each month, you can choose a new designer fragrance to try for just seven and as time goes on, Scentbird will suggest new fragrances based on the ones you liked in the past. It's a great way to discover your scent preferences, to build a fragrance collection, and to smell good all the time. With each fragrance, you'll get a 30-day supply so you can try them out before committing to a big expensive bottle. And these sizes are perfect to take along with you while traveling. Scentbird carries a lot of popular brands like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, as well as niche brands like Skylar, Heretic, and Confessions of a Rebel. Growing up, I didn't know very much about colognes and perfumes, and to be honest, I was probably a very stinky boy. But now I have a nice little collection of fragrances and I'm much better at describing the types of scents that I like thanks to these cards that Scentbird gives you each fragrance. This month I received Holly Rose from Room 1015, Bespoke from Jacef Abowd, and Bentley for Men Black Edition. My favorite scent this month is Bentley for Men Black Edition because I've always wanted to smell like a luxury vehicle. Mmm, now I've got that new car smell. Vroom vroom. You can call me Carvis from now on. Click the link in the description and use coupon code JARVIS55 to get 55% off your first Scentbird order. That's just $7 for your first month. Available in the USA and Canada. Thanks again to Scentbird for sponsoring this video. Beep beep. <laughs>
This girl is in socks. You, like she, you know she's in on the bit because she's in socks. I don't know who goes on the roof in socks unless you're in on the bit, you know? Yeah, so his whole thing is like, I'm not weird or creepy. I'm attractive. <laughs> see, when you see my face, actually everything I did is okay. And I think that that's kind of his whole shtick. Don't worry, everyone. I'm really hot. So I know you guys were concerned about my behavior, <laughs> but... <laughs> Just for anyone at home who's concerned, I'm very attractive, so I, I, I can get away with anything. Can I just get on my high horse real quick? So first of all, let's stop pretending that if we put glasses on an attractive person, it makes them not attractive. I feel like we've had decades to figure this out and we still haven't as a society. Two, and I know this isn't the focus of the TikTok, why are TikTokers so bad at lip syncing? Isn't it your job? <laughs> like, how do you, how have you never heard the song that you're lip syncing to before? Look at this. <laughs> It's just like he's never moved his mouth before. <laughs> like, I just don't understand. Tell me you're only doing one take without telling me you're only doing one take. Um, but yeah, so I guess he's he thinks he's ugly because he's wearing like his mom's glasses or whatever. How old is this kid? He's got to be like a child for sure, right? Ugh, that is scarily accurate. 18 years, one month, seven days old. Oh God, he's so young. So he's 18. So I'm gonna give him a, he's a kid pass on, well, no, I, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's worth keeping in mind. Let this just be a cautionary tale, a little bit of, you know, constructive feedback for Mr. Andrew that this is cringy. And also l l never make a TikTok with your dog again. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh no, <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Do this for her period and she'll marry you. What do you know about marriage? <laughs> you still live at home. You are li literally the best men. And he says, top G, he makes an Andrew Tate reference. Fellas, if you comfort your girlfriend when she's on her period, she'll marry you. <laughs> the bar is on the floor. Don't forget the slice of chocolate cake. Oh, <laughs> and the helpful items. I don't know like in what way these are helpful, but women seem to like it when they have them on their period. <laughs> And eggplants for some reason. I think that maybe that's like a, maybe they have some sort of vitamin that's like helpful. I can't, I can't imagine what, why he would be putting an eggplant here, but he's winking. So, you know, there must be something special about the eggplant that I just don't get. Helpful items. <laughs> oh, babe. Yeah. I'm, I know you mentioned you were on your period. So <laughs> I got you some <laughs> helpful items. <laughs> Fellas, girls have these crazy things called periods, but if you get her a slice of chocolate cake and some of these helpful items, then she'll marry you. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, why does he make so many videos about periods? He's like a pick me, I guess. He's like, ladies, don't worry about having a period. I got you. I understand women. <laughs> Girl, I love you when we do it, turn you on, shawty. Tell me if I'm wrong, I can see. Dude, you should frame this and put this in a fucking art museum. <laughs> just this image. This is an album cover. Like, just him on the toilet. Bruh, no, for real. How do you know this? How do you know? You know, he's texting his, like, female classmates. Like, hey, like, what are some secrets about being a woman that, <laughs> that guys don't know? I'm trying to make some TikToks. Okay, he talks about periods, like, too much. <laughs> this is a little bit weird. How do you know so much? <laughs> Cause I'm top G. This is so interesting. How young are these people? Boy, why do you know so much? At least you don't know everything. <laughs> what, what is she hiding? <laughs> How do you know all this stuff? Do you have a sister or a girlfriend? This is wild how many people are like, who told him? How do you know this? It's impossible to gain information about women if you're a man. It's, it's all secret code and he's cracked it. He knows too much. We're dead, girls. Okay, I don't know about that. all that. <laughs> what do you mean? Did I just expose? The comments are acting like he did a magic trick. Oh, so his whole thing is going, did I expose? Here's a basic observation about 
men and women. Did I expose? Let me know if I <laughs> let me know if I exposed in the comments down below. Actually, let me know if I exposed in the comments down below. And then everybody comments, how does he know this? Who told you? I don't know how he does it. He's some sort of like women expert, <laughs> girl whisperer man like i don't know how he does what he does but i'm just glad he's doing it and he's sharing it with the boys they were flirting with me yeah man they were flirting with you oh we're here with interscope columbia records hey we're gonna be showing a duo artist that we're working on let me see it uh, yeah let me, but... it. let me hear it let me hear it all right but she calling me daddy will play on me she might be a baddie i'm smoking that weed Bro, this guy's up next. This is Michelle going blow. Zero monthly listeners. Oh. Oh. Wait, he has zero monthly listeners. Now I feel bad. Okay, that's enough of that. Ugh. Oh no, <laughs> I don't like that. That's so weird. I guess that's a thing that happens in high school, but it's very weird to put it this way. What does this mean? <laughs> Wait, what is? I don't know what he's trying to illustrate here because he is not in girl mode. There's no pants on his head. So he does seem to be in his regular boy form. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. No. Wait, is he? Hmm, hmm. Is he saying he is only interested in a girl if she's on her period? He's like, nah, you're not on your period. Get out of here. And he's like, oh, you're on. Oh, this is weird, dude. Stop making these videos too. He's kind of a classic TikTok case where I feel like you don't see these anymore where it's somebody who's just like, only thirst traps but maybe you do maybe i'm just making this up it is possible that he thinks he's doing comedy videos which i mean i think he's part way there he's got like a premise <laughs> you know what i mean all right so my verdict on this guy is he's a kid just please stop making videos with your dog it looks like he only did the once and i'm very glad that it is he has stopped other than that no notes perfect tiktoks um live long and prosper my king <laughs> uh yeah i mean it's just a kid being cringy but like they're a kid he'll figure it out uh, i hope you enjoyed this jarvis johnson gold production which is something i never say <laughs> at the end of these videos stay gold everybody before I go, I just wanted to give another thanks to today's sponsor, Scentbird, and remember to use my promo code Jarvis55 for 55% off your first month. Okay, bye.